Another quick accounting equation. So we have to analyze the following transactions in the accounting equation. Let me just go down here. There we go. So we have to say, what is the account debit? What is the account credit for each one of the transactions? Give the amount and then say whether this will affect my assets, earnest equity or my liabilities. So transaction number one says that we sold goods for cash. In other words, we received 10,000 Rand because we had another sale. That's the first part of your transaction. The second part is you know that you cannot have sales without trading stock leaving your business in the form of a cost of sales expense. So you received cash, therefore you have more money, you have more bank. The reason why you have more money is because of sales. So bank is an asset. Assets increase on the debit side. Sales is an income and income accounts increase our owner's equity because it increases our profits. Therefore, more owner's equity and owner's equity increases on the credit side. No liabilities affected here. And the amount that you received was 10,000 Rand. So you no longer have this trading stock asset. So you are going to decrease your asset with a credit because you have less thereof. That means that you now have more cost of sales expense because this is the expense you had to incur in order for the sale to happen. And the amount was 6,000 Rand. You now have more expenses, therefore you have less profits going to the owner, resulting in a minus for owner's equity. Number two, you receive the monthly rent from a tenant. So you received money. Once again, you have more money, more bank. So debit the asset. The reason for that is that you now have more rent income and income accounts increase on the credit side. The amount is 8,000 Rand. So you have more assets because you have more bank. You have more owner's equity because you have more income. Therefore, more profits going to the owner. Then number three says you received a new loan via direct deposit. So when you receive a new loan, it means that the bank is going to deposit money into your bank account. You then have a new liability that you have to repay within the next few months. So you received a new loan, you have more money in your bank. So debit the asset. The reason why you have more money is because of this new loan and loans are liabilities, liabilities increase on the credit side. The amount that you received was 80,000. More money, therefore more assets, no owner's equity affected here. However, you do have a new liability because you now owe the bank 80,000 Rand. Then the last one, easy store settled their account by means of EFT. So in other words, you received a direct deposit of 9,000 Rand because one of your debtors settled their account by means of an EFT. So they made an EFT payment to you. So you received money, therefore you debit bank. The reason why you received this is because one of your debtors made payment to you. Therefore, your debtors now owe you less money. So debtors control, and then we include um, the debtor's name. Okay, so the debtor owes you less. The amount that he owes you less is 9,000 Rand. So you have more money in your bank account, therefore more assets. But this asset is now decreasing your debtor's control because this data no longer owes you the money. So no owner's equity affected there, no liabilities affected. And that's a quick and easy accounting equation.